Good day and welcome to another Wiz Watch. This is your host Marlon Roll and I have one stock to talk to you about for trading on Monday, December 20th, 2020. And that stock is Sunworks Incorporated and which trades on the NASDAQ Composite Index under stock symbol SUNW. Sunworks Incorporated is a Roseville, California headquartered company. Through its subsidiaries, the company provides photovoltaic-based power systems for the agriculture, commercial, industrial, public works, and residential markets in California, Massachusetts, Nevada, Oregon, New Jersey, as well as Washington State. The company also designs, finances, integrates, installs, and manages systems ranging in size from 2 kilowatt for residential power loads to multi-megawatt systems for larger projects. In addition, it offers a range of installation services including design, system engineering, procurement, permitting, construction, grid connection, warranty, system monitoring, and maintenance services to its large solar energy customers. After November 25, 2020, the company has bolstered its balance sheet after paying off a $2.7 million loan, eliminating costly debt. With the strengthening of its working capital position, the company can better position itself to navigate the COVID-19 challenges that its operations, industry, and the economy are facing. Looking at the company from a technical analyst standpoint, the stock has been on a decline for the past few weeks, coming from a price high of $8. What I would like to see going forward is a breakout in price above $5.60 in order to take the stock higher to the upside. At the close of the trading session on Friday, the stock ended the day trading at $4.84, up 48 cents, or 11.01% on heavier than average trading volume of $8.75 million. The average daily trading volume for the company is $8.27 million. In the coming weeks, set your price alerts and keep Sunworks Incorporated on your watch list for a potential breakout in price above $5.60. In the week ahead, we also have economic reports starting on Monday with the Chicago Fed National Activity Index. Tuesday, gross domestic product, consumer confidence, as well as existing home sales. Wednesday, personal income, consumer spending, core inflation, new home sales, as well as the consumer sentiment index for December. Thursday, initial jobless claims, continuing jobless claims, durable goods orders, as well as capital goods orders for November. And there will be no economic reports on Friday due to the Christmas holiday, but we also have earnings during the week coming from companies such as China Finance Online, Paycheck, Vince Holding Corp, Heiko Corp, Calavo Growers, CBDMD, Cintas Corp, as well as CarMax, just to name a few. Thank you for listening, and remember, the stocks that I mentioned are not buy recommendations, so please do your own due diligence or get help from a professional before trading. Subscribe, turn on your notifications, share, and don't forget to hit that like button. And if you have a comment or question, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you again for listening to another WizWatch. Have a great day and happy trading. This has been a WizWatch presentation.